All right, hello and welcome everyone. We are here, RC Universe World, and we've got the WL Toys 144001. This was the box uh, when it was new, still is new. I wrote it out, took it out once, and I'm gonna be changing it over to brushless. So if you are new to this project or channel, thanks for being here. And one day it is gonna look something like, uh, hmm, like this. But for now, we've got a lot of stuff to deal with and some more issues as I've been working on this brushless conversion. So if you were tuning in uh, recently, one of the things that happened, let's see if I can get a light on here. One of the things that happened was that we had a challenge with getting some screws out. I don't know what it is about these particular cars or what's going on with them, but they definitely have uh, some issues with the screws, either the screws are too soft or they use a ton of Loctite or maybe the wrong kind of Loctite, uh, which is probably the red type. So I had some trouble getting uh, these two screws out yesterday. I talked about it and I managed to actually use a punch and basically nail these, hit these guys with a hammer, get in, make a indention and then unscrew them. And luckily they weren't too bad. And I didn't have to drill them out because I was really concerned about messing up this body here of the uh, chassis. So I did get them out. And this is the gold. Uh, this is the 550 stock motor. It has one run on this thing. And then I decided to get it out. But this is where they were bolting in right here and here. And so this is out. But as fate would have it, that is not the final story here. Because the other problem we've got is these guys. Now I was on another forum Somebody was talking about these guys being really hard to get out. And sure enough, once I started working on them, these screwdrivers started slipping. And you might think there's enough there to probably get it out, but it these are pretty much done. Um, they are really tight. They are really uh, locked it on here with something that I can't get off. And so I'd like to know uh, if you guys are doing this conversion yourself or who's ever's done it, if you had any trouble getting these out, are there any tips to getting these out and i also want to make note you see those two smaller screw holes on each side those look like those will work for a three uh 390 or 380 motor but the smaller motor so these are gonna have to get drilled out which kind of sucks but that's fine i'll drill them out now then the other problem if that wasn't enough is that i also stripped this little um grub screw as well so i heated it up got it hot that's why you got a little bit of black on it from the smoke and um did not come out it stripped out too and somebody else on one of the forums explained this to me now uh, before anyone thinks i've never done this before i've done it on the armor crate in done it on this thing no problem none of the screws on this guy were ever ever gave me that much grief these were simple screws, came out easily. Uh, done it on this guy without any problem. So I've done this before, never seen this kind of weird situation. So just be advised, um, sure, I probably could have better tools. Sure, I probably could have used some other techniques, but no other car that I've got, and I've got probably about eight now, has given me this much problem. So I would have preferred these to be Allen bolts and um, not use some bloody red Loctite. Maybe use some blue. So that's the problem. So what am I going to do? I'm going to drill these two out at some point, And then I'm going to have to drill out this grub screw. Now luckily, I've been able to figure some of this out a little bit. And I want to show you all something here. Uh, this is the uh, stock pinion gear. Let me sit in here. I should have a better setup. Sorry about that. This is the stock pinion gear for the 550. And I've got an extra 9959B, which is just so I'm not mistaken, is the car with a 540 motor. So if my designations are wrong, it's the fast one, the, the green one. Okay. This is a extra gear that I had with that one. And they look to be exactly the same. Y'all let me know if that is what you are seeing. And I also think, for sake of our references, and anyone correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm learning as I go here about this car, that the pitch is the same. Would you say that is true? I think so. I think we're pretty good. So if you 
bring this guy um, right up against this one and you line him up, I think, sure as heck looks to me, like this is exactly the same. Okay, now also I think looking at this, uh, if there's been any confusion, which there was for me when I was buying the aftermarket motors, this looks like the 3.165 or 3.175, whatever that smaller size shaft is, but not a 5 millimeter shaft. So I think that we're running basically that same pinion should work on the 550 and 540 motors so that's good so i've got an extra pinion i've got a good grub screw and i guarantee you as i've done this quite a few times i'm not going to have as much problem so i've got to drill that out and then i've got to drill all, all three of those and hopefully not destroy the motor mount so that's that and then um i was able actually to do some of the servo removal so what i got uh, is an Emax servo. Now I've got a all metal Emax servo in the 959 that I did brushless. This I think is the standard Emax servo. So if you're wondering about it, uh, it's just Emax servo. Um, it's basically your three wire servo. So if you look at this three wire, this basically works with, um, from what I understand, most ESCs and that bolted in really nicely. There was no trouble with the uh, bolts being tight the screws or anything so we're good there um, this is the infamous gear that we'd like to of course find a replacement for um, everything else looks good I really love the chassis I love the way this thing uh, is put together and uh, my next steps uh, in doing this are going to be number one which I can do right now is to pull off this ESC so let me do that and once I pull that off guys sorry Pull that right off here. All right. That ESC is gone. And I've got a question here. So as we're doing this, you know, it'd be great to save all these motor components, but I was really curious about this on-off switch, how this thing mounts on there. And it actually looks like it's built in, correct me if I'm wrong, or snaps in to this uh, center piece. So I'm not sure how this is going to come out. It looks pretty solid. I thought it might be screwed in, but I don't see anything. So I may just have to grind it off, cut it off or something, but it definitely looks like it is built in somehow. So we're not gonna wanna have a, you know, it doesn't wanna pop off. We're not gonna wanna have an on off switch there. Obviously that's not gonna do us any good. So we're gonna have to cut that. And then I'll tell you what my plan is, uh, if you're curious, which you might be because you're on the channel, uh, <laughs> is we're gonna basically, I took the fan off of this uh, ESC and hopefully it'll run okay. It's a 60 amp, uh, I'll be running 3S and what I'm basically gonna do is I got these parts from these little plastic pieces from a tackle box that I have and what I'm gonna be doing actually with this uh, is I am going to be cutting these with a Dremel and getting them to fit. And then I'm gonna be gluing them with epoxy. And I'm basically gonna be stacking them up because what I've gotta do, if you look to the side of this, you've got this little indention. And I shared yesterday that my ESC is actually wider than this. So I need to create a flat base. Now what I also might do is find a piece of foam and just basically, you know, stick some foam here and then a, uh, you know, double backed ad adhesive. That might also work, but I need to get this to be a little more of a flat space and I need to make up for this. So let me know what you guys think I should do, if I should stack these guys or if that's just going to be, um, you know, a little bit of a mess and maybe it's not going to work. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the foam. And then once, of course, I get a flat uh, surface, that on-off switch is annoying. Once I get a flat surface, ugh, annoying on-off switch just sticks, sits there, you can't even get rid of it. This guy is gonna go here. Now the reason I took off the fan was because of the height issue and I think it will work. Hopefully it won't burn up or anything, but I really doubt it. I mean, the EMB or the LC Racing guys, they don't have a fan. I'm not really sure. And if it does burn up, it's a $20 ESC, lesson learned. But that for most of us will let us run the body without much trouble. So that, these are the next steps that I've got to do, and um, we're going to 
just kind of keep plowing along here and getting through the different challenges uh, that show up as this thing uh, continues to take form. But as of now, uh, this is kind of where I'm at and this is what it's going to look like. And I am excited to get it going. And the ESC three wire mounted really good. And uh, the next thing we're going to do, of course, when all that's done is, you know, get everything synced up to the remote and I'll share what I do and how that all works as well. Thanks for watching on. If you like this video or you want to follow the journey, I've got older videos. I've got the whole journey of how I did this car, plus just a lot of fun driving them around. And uh, but if you want to know how it's all going to work and what I'm doing, just follow the journey. Thanks, y'all. Hit like and subscribe if you want to watch more. Take care.